Welcome to another episode of Craig Loves Cooking. Today we're making cheesy baked grits. These are grits that are gonna come right out of the oven, nice and hot and fresh and cheesy. It's great as a side dish with fried chicken or meatloaf. You can even use it for a fancy dinner like Thanksgiving or something like that. The nice thing is it stays nice and hot in the casserole. You don't have to worry about it and you can just serve it like that. It's also great for breakfast. If you just have it with sausage or just by itself, even with a sausage biscuit, it's fantastic. But however you make it, you're gonna love it. So let's go ahead and let's get cooking. All right, we're gonna start this by getting our grits prepared so that we can put that right into the bake. So we will start with six cups of water and we'll need to bring that to a boil. There's two cups. There's four cups. And there we have our six cups of water. Then we are gonna go ahead and add our butter. Now the butter is not just for flavor, it's also gonna keep stuff from sticking. Hopefully it'll keep the grits from sticking as much or from clumping together quite as much. We need two teaspoons of salt. There's one. And two teaspoons of salt. And we will add one fourth teaspoon of ground black pepper. There's our pepper. Just gonna stir that around a little bit. And then we're gonna turn that on high and wait for that to boil. While that's behind me getting ready to boil, I'm gonna go ahead and gather up all the things that I need to go into it. It will be three eggs, one bag of cheese, half of this will go into it, the other half will go on top, so we'll have one cup inside of it, one cup will go on top. We'll need one fourth cup of our flour, and we're also gonna need baking powder. So we'll have that all ready to go once that water's boiling. Okay, you can see it's getting ready to boil. You can see the butter starting to melt, and the pepper, you can see it kind of moving around in the water. I do like to use a pretty good sized pot because once I start stirring everything around, it's really easy to start splashing up and spilling things, so I like to use a little bit bigger size. Once that comes to a boil, I go ahead and turn the heat all the way off because when I put this in, I wanna make sure that I'm whisking it as quickly as I can to try to keep it from um, clumping together or anything like that. So go ahead and uh, look at my measuring cup. Do you like it? It's a cat. Yeah, these are special ones. I like measuring cups that are a little bit different and unique. So I'm stirring that really good, making sure I'm whisking that so that nothing clumps up in there. That was my one cup and look, uh, my half cup has the same thing. So here's my one and a half cup of grits, making sure that I'm whisking really good while that's going in there because we really don't want those to stick. Now, once you get that all in there, then we're gonna go ahead and bring this back up to a full boil again. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that heat back up. We're gonna turn it to high until we can get it back to a boil. This is the time that your grits are gonna to wanna to stick or clump up. So just make sure that you're whisking those really good so that they don't. Now, as you can see, it's back to a full boil. So now what I'll do is I'll turn this all the way to the lowest setting that we have. And we're gonna let those simmer for five minutes and we're just gonna stir them every once in a little bit. Now, they're still boiling really good, so I'm gonna let that kind of die down a little bit before I put the lid on, because I do not want them to boil over. And like I said, I turned it all the way down to low, that because we have the electric burners, it takes it just a minute. If you have gas, that happens real fast, and you don't have to worry about it. But I'm gonna stir them one more time so they don't stick, so that they don't clump up. And then I'll just set my timer for five minutes. and I will go ahead and just stir them occasionally. Because I don't want those clumps. I don't want anything to stick. The butter helps a little bit with that, but um, you do just need to stir them just a little bit. And 
I'm going to stir them one more time here just to make sure everything is okay in there. Doesn't look like there's any sticking going on, so that's good. You do have to watch. They will boil out and get you. Did you see that one splash? And they are like lava. Those grits get so hot. All right, they have been cooking for five minutes, so I am gonna go ahead and take them right off the heat, shut the burner off, and I'm gonna put them back here so they start to cool off a little bit because we're gonna be putting an egg mixture into them, and when you do that, it's gonna to wanna to start cooking the egg immediately, so we're gonna want them to cool off just a little bit so we can get that stirred in before it starts doing that. So now we're gonna go ahead and make the part that goes inside. We're gonna start with three eggs. There's our three eggs. We need one tablespoon of baking powder. And one fourth cup of all-purpose flour. You know, you should always stir your flour up a little bit before you measure out. Get it aerated and a little fluffy. And then we're gonna use one of my other favorite measuring spoons. This is from Paula Dean's store in Savannah. You can see it looks like a little pot on the edge, right? I got flour on it, but it looks like a little pot. And then up here, it looks like a rooster. They're a lot of fun. But that's our fourth cup of all-purpose flour there. Yeah, we like to pick up measuring cups different places, and it's a great little memory thing. And then we're gonna whisk that together. We will also want to have our one cup of shredded cheddar cheese ready. That's going to be half of our bag and we're going to put that right in with everything else. Now, before we mix this all together, we want to make sure that our pan is prepared to put everything in. So let's go ahead and spray that with cooking oil. Get that nice and covered. And then here are our grits. They've been cooling for about 10 minutes and you can see they already start stiffening up a little bit and that's okay. You can still see they're plenty warm. <laughs> so once we start putting that other mixture in, it has flour and egg in it and it's gonna wanna start cooking right away. So we wanna make sure that we're whisking that and getting that fully incorporated before it completely cooks. Let's go ahead and pour that in. And then we're gonna mix this real good. And this is when we're going to also put the cheese in. Go ahead and get that all stirred in real good. You can see it's already starting to thicken up. So once that's mixed in good, then we're going to go ahead and put this right into the casserole dish. Boy, it's really starting to smell good. I can smell the grits and the butter. Just a little bit of pepper smell to it. It smells fantastic. And then I just make sure that that's evenly spread out like that. So we will go ahead and put this in the oven for 45 minutes at 325 degrees. At that point, we'll pull it out, put the rest of the other half of the bag of cheese on top, and cook it for another couple minutes to melt that cheese. Okay, the grits have been cooking for 45 minutes. I went ahead and took them out of the oven and now we're going to spread the rest of the bag of cheese right on top of that. It's spread out evenly. You can see the grits are really cooked. This is just going to be sort of to finish it off. Get a little extra cheese and extra goodness there on top. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the oven for probably about three or five minutes just until that cheese melts on top. All right, this has spent just a few more minutes in the oven, about four minutes, just melting that cheese on top, and let's go ahead and serve some up. So before I give these a shot, and you know this is my favorite time, do me a favor, 
like the video, give me a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe underneath, turn on notifications, and uh, let's give cheesy baked grits a try. There's just something about grits. When you bake them, they just take on such a different flavor. It's like the difference between baked spaghetti and regular spaghetti. I love both of them. And just like that, I love both of these grits too. So go ahead, make sure you give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments. If there's anything that you want me to try, any recipes that you think would be great, let me know. I'd be more than happy to give them a shot. So remember, Craig loves cooking because Craig loves eating. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. See y'all later. Mmm.